Tipo for Cairo, performing at the Queen's Wharf Entertainment Hub in downtown Auckland. The 2017 Masters Games isn't just about sport, and there's still plenty of time for locals and visitors to experience the wide range of music, art, culture and food on show over the weekend. Here at the Entertainment Hub, our job is to welcome first and foremost to welcome our visitors but also our locals as well so it's a place where Aucklanders can feel proud of where they're from uh, it's very much anchored in Tangata Whenua uh, but then it also shows off all the colour and range that Auckland has. <laughs> Will Crummer and the Rarotongans are among the bands that visitors to Queen's Wharf can look forward to and you can also watch a craftsman put the final touches to the paddle being made for the closing ceremony. So this is the traditional paddle that Māori had for the canoes. It's five pieces that fit together, the different woods from around the Pacific and around the world that represent everybody that's come to the World Masters Games. Um, it's got a Modi stone, green stone on top. Um, and uh, it's getting presented tomorrow to um, Kansai, the uh, holders of the next games in 2021. Super rugby stars from the Auckland Blues were on hand for the kids to improve their skills, with plenty to do for all the family and the thousands of athletes and visitors here in Auckland. Ah, good city. Ah, New Zealand, good, good, very good. And we're getting to see lots of the North Island and it's been fantastic. Yeah, Auckland's really put on a special time for us. It's been fantastic. So whether you've been competing or you want to soak up some of the 2017 Games atmosphere and enjoy the local culture and cuisine, the Queen's Wharf is the place to be as the event builds up to an exciting finale.